Today's the day. I've been mentioning change coming to the farm, and it's nice to know it's finally happening. Yadel and I went out to the garden to pass time as we were waiting for a special call. It's always nice to be in the garden when anxiety kicks in and you want things to hurry up and happen. As time goes fast, laying in dirt. Beautiful change is coming and we are excited to show you the new projects coming right here on Basta Rica Family Farm. But as we allow time to pass by, we are going to be planting out this green stalk from Epic Gardener. And they are so beautiful and vibrant in color. I can't wait to see all of the beautiful carrots and lettuce, beets, and everything else that we plant in here. When we got done with the garden, we headed to the new change coming to the farm. If you guys don't know, we are building a tiny home. And we are building a tiny home for my mom, Yadel's mother-in-law. She is moving to the farm here with us. And we are very excited to finally have family close to us. My mom has always wanted to move here to the farm and just have a little bit of peace and quiet. She lives in the city as of right now and my sister lives with her. So they are exchanging and my sister will be living in her house and keeping her home and my mom will be coming here and my sister has helped her with this so I'm very happy that everything worked out for everyone and my mom finally gets what she wants this isn't the exact one that she will be getting she will be getting a 14 by 50 shed and we are excited to get everything done inside as Yadel will be doing all the work for her so she'd be able to get it the way that she wants it and I'm really happy she can finally get what she wants and be where she wants to be and we are very happy to have family here with us as our family lives three hours away so it's nice to just have my mom here close to us and we're just very excited about this new change at the point that me and Yadel moved out because we used to live previously with her it was a very tough decision to move three hours away but we're just so happy that now change is coming in her life and she is moving three hours to us With change comes many blessings and we are truly blessed to have my mom here and my sister is blessed to have the house and we're just very excited about everything to come as change in our lives was good and change for her life will be amazing as well. Blessings are an amazing thing when God blesses you. It's it's just amazing. It's amazing in many different ways and you feel great about it. And this has just been a huge blessing for all of us. I'm really excited to start this journey with Yadel on bringing her what she wants and what she likes. 
we will be doing everything on a budget and everything will be affordable we are trying to find everything on facebook market and make sure that we stay within a budget as we are still trying to be debt free and also learn to be more efficient now that the shed is ordered and ready to go we will be showing the whole process the shed getting delivered and Yadel fixing it now on saturday we did go with my mom and my cousin to a mobile home depot store this is also an antique store they have amazing and wonderful things for mobile homes and anything that you can use windows and so many different things this store is located in fort mccoy and it is called joe's stuff and such an amazing amazing store they have great products and super affordable if you definitely put your mind into a diy you will come out so efficient We came here to look around for windows, doors, and things she will need to make her home into a tiny home. She's debating on doing one room and one bedroom, one kitchen, and one living room. Everything she needs to live very comfortable with just her. As this project moves along, you will be seeing the whole process of this. And as our home takes a pause on remodeling, we will be doing this in the meantime. I hope you guys continue to follow this new journey of continuing to be debt free and building a new tiny home for my mom. One of the main things that we were looking for when we came here and had set is drywall, wood, windows, doors, and things that we know she would be able to use. So when we went here, we were able to get drywall, windows, and just so many things that she needed for this tiny home. We are very excited that we have a mobile home depot store right around us if you have one in your area i definitely recommend you checking it out especially if you have a mobile home they are worth it and they definitely save you a lot of money we try to do things on a budget and showing my mom now how to do things on a budget which is great Things don't have to be expensive to look nice. Now, I will be showing you guys at the end of this build how much everything came out to. And I will be doing that because I showed it for our home and it was something that you guys enjoyed as you didn't believe that we can save money while remodeling. And even though this home will be needing a whole lot more, we are still going to try to do it on a budget as we like to be efficient and not waste money on things that is not necessary 
so within this home she will be getting everything that she wants and we're gonna see how we can keep a budget and maintain debt free From here, we picked up 10 windows and 60 pieces of drywall, and my mom paid $1,500. I was very surprised if we would have went to Home Depot or Lowe's, we would have been at least $3,500 or even $4,000 in. But just with this trip alone, all she spent was $1,500. And it's so crazy to see that you can take something and make it new. Now, these windows are brand new. They are for mobile homes, but it's something that you can put on a shed tiny home conversion. The drywall are the thick pieces of drywall, and I'm very surprised that they were that cheap. It's so amazing to see when the shed comes and you guys see the whole process of using something that was affordable and make it look nice. This is one of the windows that Yadel picked for my mom's tiny home. Our hallway has this exact same window and we are wanting to lean towards having it look like a replica of our home just so everything could look the same on the farm. This window cost $20, and when we heard the price, we definitely jumped on it. Yeah, I got my I got the nation blind. Windows are very expensive, especially a window this big. But there was no damage to the window, and it was brand new. It's a beautiful window to put in the hallway, and she wants windows all throughout her tiny home. So I'm really excited she is getting what she wants. As we ended the day looking at materials, I also took a nice little look at their antique shop. I love anything antique, anything old that has many life to it. It is just history and memories of different things. I picked up two candle holders as I love anything that I can put a candle on when during the night or in the morning I just want a little bit of light. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today and looking at all the materials we got. We hope to see you very soon and we love you guys very very much. Have an awesome and blessed weekend. Thank mm -hmm. you.